When every second counts, immediate medical treatment could very well be the difference between life and death. United Hatzalah founder Eli Beer understood this from a young age and embarked on a lifelong mission of building a volunteer-based organization which today is Israel's national emergency first responder. I grew up in, in Jerusalem. I was born and raised there. When I was seven years old when I saw the first bomb attack of my life right in front of me in a bus that blew up. Because I saw that day how many people died. I said, I'm going to grow up. I want to save people. At 15, Ellie began volunteering for a local ambulance company. For almost two years, I would volunteer twice a week for eight hours and trying to get to that opportunity that I always wanted to save someone's life. But every time someone called for help, we would drive in the ambulance to save him. We never got there in time. And I realized I'm not going to be able to save someone that way. And that day I decided maybe we could do something different out of the box. Ellie's original idea of local volunteers wasting no time by rushing to save their neighbors in life-threatening situations has grown from 15 volunteers in his own neighborhood to over 2,000 volunteers working all over Israel. Using United Hatzalah's state-of-the-art life compass technology, a central dispatch is able to track and notify the 10 closest and most qualified volunteers to the emergency. These motivated medics are on call 24-7 and when notified will drop whatever they are doing to rush over to the scene. Many volunteers are equipped with United Hatzalah's signature ambucycles, which carry everything a regular ambulance has except a bed and allow for easy access in a traffic congested environment. A recognized international leader in their field, United Hatzalah are able to arrive on scene in less than three minutes reducing the average first response time by a thousand percent. Right as I finished my military service, I got a motorcycle from Atsala and I was considered a first responder. That's our biggest goal, is to get there fast, to stabilize the patient before the ambulance gets there, because that's the most crucial time. It's a lot of volunteering, it's 24-7, 365 days a year. You're always on call, but at the end of the day, when you actually get to the scene, and I've had a couple of these this year, where the person's unconscious, not breathing, and you're doing CPR, and a day later you're visiting him at the hospital and he's smiling, and you know that he was just reborn again, it was totally worth it, and you're going to do it again. United Hatzalah's Ten Kavod project, which translated means give respect, addresses the special needs of the lone and at-risk elderly. Medics visit and monitor these individuals on a regular basis, as well as equipping them with a special emergency alert button. When Yehuda Aruch recently suffered a stroke, which rendered him unconscious, his wife Palomba immediately notified United Hatzalah. United Hatzalah's dedicated volunteers, made up of EMTs, paramedics and doctors, come from all sectors of Israeli society religious and secular, Jewish, Christian, and Arab. In East Jerusalem, where 250,000 Arabs reside, regulation prohibits ambulances from traveling without security forces accompaniment, causing critical delays that result in tragedies. Today, there are over 50 Arab United Hatzalah volunteers in the area. My father passed away in this house because the ambulance refused to come down. So I decided to do the course as a EMT and to help our neighborhood. Our community is so closed on itself. When they meet a person that they know, they feel comfort with him. So they will let him to go inside and take care of the patient. I think it's a big help for our community. Since I've been a part of United Atsala, I saved a lot of persons. Uh, Jews and Arabs, actually, and uh, some uh, tourist people. United Hatzalah's volunteers do not discriminate when it comes to saving lives, and they proudly work together to achieve this ultimate goal. It's not our job to decide who goes, who doesn't, who we treat, who we don't. That's not our job. If we're medics and we're going to take on the responsibility of being a medic and treating the people of Israel or even the tourists that happen to come and also need treatment, um, that's our job, that's our responsibility. As a religious Jew, I didn't have a whole lot of interaction with non-religious people, and certainly not uh, non-Jews and Arabs, but I found that 
when we're saving lives together, all those barriers and perceived barriers fall for that goal of saving lives. By virtue of my volunteering with United Hatzalah, I've met people from other backgrounds, cultures, and religions, and have actually become friends with them. British Ambassador Matthew Gould was so impressed by United Hatzalah's contribution to Israeli society, he recently spent an evening on the back of an ambucycle joining emergency calls. It's an extraordinary organization bringing together thousands of volunteers from right across Israel. And the most amazing thing about it is that every day it saves lives. United Hatzalah responds to over 500 calls a day, arriving first in 85% of emergencies. This is Ayelet Saban for Israel Up Close.